Hi, Year 3, it's Mr. Brendan here to talk you through Wednesday and Thursday's work. This worksheet involves quite a bit of work, so it'll be spread over the two days. So you can see, after you've done this worksheet, you'll be able to develop descriptions of settings in stories, something we've actually done last term. So we're revisiting using descriptive words, which are what? That's right, adjectives. And we're going to use those to develop a setting in a story. So question one says, reread the text on page 56. What do we learn about the setting from this? What information does the author give us? Write a short list. Now, page 56 is the worksheet from Monday. This one, okay? It's where Dilly and Goody Goody are in the garden. So that's the text it's referring to. Okay, so once you've done question one, you need to think about your knowledge of gardens from your own experience or from reading similar books. What extra ideas would you add to the setting? Make a list of things you would place in the garden setting. So you've all been in gardens. Maybe some of you have got gardens. Think about the gardens in school. Make a list of the things you would place in the garden setting. After that, you're going to get creative and use your artistic skills. You need to draw a picture of what you think the setting would look like, adding labels, like we've done in science before and English, and descriptions using adjectives to help develop your ideas. In other words, you're going to draw a setting um, from what you've described in question two, colour it in, make it look beautiful, and then add some labels and descriptions to really show off and explain the setting you've described. After that, you will write three sentences about your setting using adjectives. So, three settings different to what you've written in number three, okay, that use excellent adjectives to describe your setting to somebody. After that, you have question five. You're going to ask a partner to read your sentences to you. This could be anybody at home. As you look at the picture you drew in activity three. So you'll be looking at your picture, they'll be reading the sentences you wrote, and you're going to listen to them and you're going to see, hmm, is there anything I've missed? Maybe I can add another sentence. And that's what you'll do if you've missed something out. I'm sure you'll have more than three things you can describe from your settings. Excellent. And then the final activity, Talk Partners, says think back to your work on settings in unit one. That was in the last term. Describe Dilly's garden to a partner and ask your partner to check you've used good descriptive words. Okay, so this is all about reviewing our use of adjectives and our ability to use those to create and describe settings. So it's a big task and I expect this to take you uh, two lessons. So it'll take you through Wednesday and Thursday. Have fun.